What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. It is currently 2 o'clock in the morning, and today, I just been busy, you know what I'm saying, handling some business that I need to handle. But in the meantime, between time, I got to make sure I get this content out for y'all. Yes, that is an air mattress. And in the process of me doing my videos, I'm going to lay down so my back can be straight. You know what I mean? It's really hard to do what we do. Y'all won't know, but, you know, you find out, you, you, you'll see. But anyhow. That's what we about to do. We about to get into Dre first. Couple other subjects. Ain't too much going on with the circus, okay? But we're going to get into some other stuff. So let's get it. Soon as we can get there. Soon as we can get there. Oh, got it. Top of it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, I just want to come on here and let y'all know the good news. <laughs> but now, for real, God bless y'all. Uh, just want to come over here and address y'all, man. Let y'all know I'm still doing cool. And licking yogurt. I ain't gonna lie, you mind with a fork sometimes. Right. Hopefully, put these rumors to rest. Like my mom trying to call people crazy because she upsets people, and people get upset. If I'm crazy, Krishan is crazy for kicking your ass. What do Krishan have to do? I swear when she trying her best to be quiet, somebody always bring up all the time. I think you just have that effect on people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, you get on people's nerves and you make them upset. But, you know, hopefully we all could change. Hopefully. Just want to go out here and preach some positivity early in the morning. I am going to be working on um, coming out and trying to... Can y'all imagine going to his church? I push my positive message. And I ain't nothing wrong with... Uh, you know, changing your life. So I, I'm just playing, but I, well, I, I still wouldn't go to this church. Not really for a profit, but. just to get myself, you know, I'm, I'm passionate about helping people. So look out, check the link in my uh, bio. And, you know, it's just about my road to change. One, 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 a lot of different things. I'm going to be introducing myself and be telling y'all who I am, finally uh, telling y'all my story. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give y'all the raw. You know, I'm going to tell y'all everything from start to finish, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Raw and it's not in hopes to inspire people to do negativity, but uh, to give people uh, inspiration, I hopefully do the opposite, you know, and try to be more positive. Um, I feel like some people want to do better. They just don't know how, you know, like myself, I'm barely learning how to be better. I never had a positive example, so... Until I was able to be my own example, I just kept bumping my... I'm very learning. I never had a positive example is what he just said, which means he does spell the way he talk. You just got to catch it. My head, but now that I bump my head enough times to know, I want to try to make sure that the next person doesn't have to bump their head enough times. You know, so yeah. uh, I'm going to have two different channels on my YouTube. I'm going to be doing a, a, a morning service every morning. And then on my Patreon, it's just going to document my journey from changing from where I was to going to where I'm trying to be. Uh, and just showing anybody else who wants to try to change how you can change and how you can go about change from every aspect of your life. Thank you. Um, as far as my brother, that um, that was all them, bro. I, I don't know. I'd be on the outside of stuff. I was getting information. I, was, I don't know if it was bad information. He's still talking about it. I'm not going to lie, to this day, and this was a couple of days ago, but he's still talking about it. But all the information I got was from them. So I didn't make none of that stuff up. That was all what they had told me. I don't have any other further updates other than prayer. Um, I got a feeling it's all going to work out. You know, God is telling me it's all going to work out, so I'm just going to put my faith in him. You know, they say we shouldn't stress. Um... I'm not perfect. I'm not even trying to come up here and be like, oh, I'm super all this. But I'm just acknowledging that this is the road that I'm confident that I want to be on because I can let everything else go. But my, my walk with God, you know, and I just um, hopefully other people can realize that and see that before they get to the point that I had to go through. Like I said, I bumped my head so many times and hopefully I could be an example for people. So they don't have to bump their heads before they become who they supposed to be in Christ. Um, every time before I speak, I'm always going to pray. Like I said, I'm going to be giving it the good, the bad, the ugly. I'm going to give the whole real, you know, my life, uh, my journey, everything. Like I said, I've been through from, you know, the streets of L.A., dealing with temptations. Um, you know, like I said, just everything I've been through and hopefully be an inspiration to other people. To Somebody said he too flip floppy to even listen to anything he say. Oh, God, because I'm over here like, <laughs> stop the cap.
Try to choose a, a more positive path, especially younger, young black males who don't have father figures like myself. Um, just to give somebody for them to look up to so they can say, hey, man, you can do it and still be cool. Or, you know, you can be you could be, you know, what I'm saying you could be not square, but you could be a real man. Like my goal eventually is to on the road to becoming the perfect man, you know, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Not the way he talked to that woman when he mad at her. I mean, the nigga said, I'm about to lie about everything. I'm about to lie and then make them believe me. And then, you know, he'll put the phone in front of her, call her fat and all kind of crazy shit. I think all of what he's done is starting to affect him because he know damn well he was dead ass wrong. And I don't think he apologetic for none of it. So I think now he's trying to overly project um, the spiritual thing because he know that he has been dead ass wrong <laughs> to people. Financially. Like, bro, you've done a lot of bad stuff to people. You too, nigga. Yeah, yeah that wife is one. Um, and whatever that takes. I signed up for a man's boot camp. So I'm going to be documenting that process, you know. And um, it's just going to be like, like I said, everything like that. We're going to go out and just try to inspire and, and motivate and create. Bro, and go from there. You know, if y'all love Dre, go ahead and uh, give me some hearts and tap in and subscribe. You know, I did decide to put a, put it on Patreon just because uh, documenting the whole process is not cheap. You know, you need videographers and all the other stuff. Um, but I really wanted it to be like a testimony, you know what I'm saying? Uh, because once it's digital, you know, that's like the new Bible. You know, once it's digital, it'll, it'll last forever. So, um, you know, my story will change. It'll, it'll be for, for anybody however long from now they could look back and see what I did or what I've done you know like Paul in the Bible how I was you know I was far left you know um, and just explaining that whole process you know really giving some insight to anybody like I said going through that you know I, I want to get some psychological tips in there because I really do feel like psychology plays a lot of how we are especially when we're dealing with certain situations uh, and it's really just about educating. Um, but yeah, I did put it on Patreon. Like so he want to educate everybody else and, and fix everybody else but himself. Got it. Like I said, because documenting journey is not going to be cheap. Um, but yeah, most of the money I make. And by the way, I'm far from perfect. Don't let me go up here and say that I'm far from perfect. But what I am do is I'm, I'm using my voice. And what I am do. That's really how, so how he messages, how he talk. And I'm stepping up and I'm, I'm using my voice to speak my message. Um, and like I said, this is about me being on the road to becoming a better person. This is me concretely dedicating myself to becoming a better person. Uh, I always wanted to be on this path, you know, just growing up in LA. Um, you know, it's a rough environment, you know, and people will take advantage I of you. I think that I got a lot of my wicked ways just really trying to fight back. I'm not trying to justify it, but a lot of my memories is, you know, really just going overboard, fighting back, you know what I'm saying? So uh, now that I'm older and I know how to use my brain a little bit more, um, I guess I communicate with my words instead of my fists, you know? So, um, and like I said, I wanted people to learn that as well because it took me 30 years dang, to learn that. So if I- Cap. Cap. You'd be over there whooping that wife ass. I could have learned how to control my anger at a younger age. I'd probably be way on. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this change is going to be easy. I, it's going to be hard. Like, this is the beginning of the road for me. Like, y'all going to see me cry. Y'all going to see me hurt. Y'all going to see me grind. But y'all, one thing y'all not going to see is me give up um, until I've reached my goal. And as he shouldn't, you know. Becoming a better man and a better person and, and becoming... One of the best men that ever lived, bro, I'm not going to stop, you know, and I'm going to leave that example for, for everybody else coming behind me, you know, older people, whoever, you know, anybody, period, who wants to change, you know, I'm going to be that example of, you know, just how you can change because I was living wild, um, not recently, but at one point in my life, um, and just like I said, to try to inspire people to change. Charles so Lamaha, come on this journey with me man you know support you know we laugh together cry together motivate inspire you know let's grow <laughs> mm, i mean as far as the the, the updates of my brother i'm you know the, i'm gonna say what i know but for the most part i don't i'll be on the outside of that stuff i'm not a blog page 
I try to stay away from all of that, the, the hip hop. You know, I don't even really listen to that much rap anymore these days. Um, just because I feel like the environment is so toxic and so negative. Once upon a time, I looked up to my brother, man. I thought he had it all. And then I just saw what everything, what, what all it came with. And I just realized that that it is, it, it's, it's a facade. And when it all dries up, you know, the, it, it, it ain't nothing there. You know what I'm saying? And it really breaks my heart. Um, but it also taught me that don't never let the devil fool you because the only way is... Dream mouth always look dry and it be pissing me off. <laughs> that mouth always dry. <sighs> he ain't lying about the celebrity part and the money and the, um, you know, nothing's at the surface however he put it. Trying to be fucking <laughs> Drake Spear. Dre Spear. <laughs> but, um, child, I just still rather cry on a Ferrari, y'all. I just, man. Let me know, would y'all rather cry on a Ferrari or a Honda Civic? Well, some of us, you know, we still, I got a Kia, so I ain't being funny. Would y'all rather cry in a Ferrari or a, a Kia? Just do Christ. Most of us probably got Kias. No. Watch y'all be, oh, I got a Benz. C-class. <laughs> Literally the only way is through Christ. Because you can have all that, you know, and, and sure to double check later on it TSA don't have it no more. But uh, I'm also working with a couple other people, um, working on starting a spiritual base um, financial support group. And it's basically going to be like a, um, a, a Christian founded uh, hedge fund for, uh, you know, people trying to do positive things. Uh, we're going to have uh, meetings. We're going to have our group. Uh, we're going to have networking events. Um, I got, uh, I'm got. i going to post all the people I'm working on it with as soon as we get it all together. Um, so just look out for that, too. We're going to be spreading financial literacy. Uh, we're going to create a, a large networking group of spiritually founded people uh, who want to do something positive with their finances. We're going to educate them, like I said. We're going to have networking events. We're going to be all over the United States. That's crazy. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to doing some big things with God um, and myself and, you know, just becoming a better person. You know, I know I have a lot of wisdom to give, so I'm ready to give it and I'm ready to go. So let's grow. Yo, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Got a Top lot of, of it, wisdom the Lord. to give. <sighs> Girl, y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below. Um... Uh, I'm not saying he don't mean well. I'm just saying he doesn't hold himself accountable. It's easier it's easier for him to project and talk about everybody else but himself. Um, I know that he said he wasn't perfect, but I just feel like he kind of owned everybody else a little harder than himself. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.